Three, okay. two. Hey, what's up? You're watching the Steve Talks Real Estate Show and this is episode seven. Hey, I am your host, Steve Panate, realtor here in the Phoenix metropolitan area. And today I want to talk to you guys about something I am personally experiencing and it's starting to feel like a seller's market. I'm not saying it is a seller's market. I'm just saying there are uh, the temperature uh, out there uh, in some areas within the valley feels like it's leaning towards one. So I've had buyers that have had to compete for the house that they want. So they've asked me, Steve, what do we do uh, in a market like this? And my response to them is become a better buyer. So on this episode, I want to talk about three things you can do to be a competitive buyer and secure the house you really want. Number one, talk with your loan officer and get pre-approved for your home loan before you begin putting in offers in a house. Now, there's a difference between being pre-qualified and pre-approved. If you are pre-approved for your home loan, it tells the seller that your loan is solid and will most likely go through when it's ready to close. Although being pre-qualified is the first step you must take before going house hunting, bring, being pre-approved just brings the assurance that your loan is ready to rock and roll when it's time to close on the house. Talk with your loan officer in regards to this uh, and in a future episode, I am bringing in a loan officer onto the show that will talk more about this difference between being pre-qualified and being pre-approved for a home loan. Number two, Make sure your offer is competitive and aggressive. It might be the only offer you can submit. Therefore, if you don't have any room after to negotiate, you better make sure the offer you submit up front is aggressive. You wanna make sure the seller feels like he or she is getting the better deal. Don't ask for closing costs if you really don't have to. Don't ask for a home warranty if you can cover it. Uh, if you could offer what they're asking, go for it. Be competitive, be wise, and see if it gets really heated and there are many, many other offers coming in to the same house, you might wanna submit your offer with an escalation clause. Now, what that is is this, is that you're telling the seller that you will beat any offer that comes in by a certain amount up to a maximum price you are willing to pay. So be competitive, be aggressive, make sure your initial offer gets the attention of the seller in hopes that you will get to buy that house. Number three, the closing date. Now the closing date uh, is very important for both parties. But, it's, but if a lot of people are going after the same house, you always wanna make sure that the seller gets the better hand. You know, so ask the seller uh, what is most beneficial for them. They might want a faster or sooner closing date or they might want a extended closing date. Probably they still live in the house, wanna move out and so on. So they might need some extra days or if the house is vacant, they probably wanna sell quick and have a shorter closing period. Therefore, uh, choose wisely as when you want to close, ask the seller and see what works best for them. You might get uh, the seller to pay attention to you simply because of that. Well, that wraps up episode seven of the Steve Talks Real Estate Show. Keep your questions coming and I will keep answering them. Email me at the email down below. Visit my website. There's a lot of content on there and we'll see you next time. Steve Pinate, realtor here in the Phoenix metropolitan 
area uh, and surrounding cities, I guess. Uh, no, actually, hold on, that was dumb. Okay, let's go.